T2R where V is an inner product space and T of U is equal to inner product U uh, is a linear transformation justify your answer norm U sorry this is T of U is equal to norm U so is a linear transformation justify your answer uh, we have to check that T of U is equal to norm U is a linear transformation and the answer is no uh, this is not a linear transformation because uh, we know that for linear transformation the two conditions must be satisfied first one is uh, for any two vectors u and v uh, t of u plus v that is equal to t of u plus t of v that is the first condition and for any alpha uh, scalar uh, t of alpha u that is equal to alpha into t of u so these two conditions must be satisfied and in that case uh, we can uh, if these two conditions are satisfied then we can say that the given transformation is linear but the first conditions drop here uh, t of u plus v now what is t of u that is norm u uh, t of u plus v is norm u plus v and uh, t of u plus t of v that is norm u plus norm v so this left hand side we have norm u plus v and right hand side we have norm u plus norm v this two are not equal okay this two are clearly not equal uh, why this two are not equal just take one simple example just take one simple example if we take uh, u and v both are vectors of r2 okay and using the euclidean inner product just try to understand what uh, <coughs> what i what i am trying to explain you that uh, take u and v r vectors of r2 and uh, take euclidean inner product right to define a norm so uh, take u is equal to 1 0 right and uh, u u1 is equal uh, u is equal to 1 0 and v is equal to 0 1 clear so what is u plus v using the euclidean inner product uh, and the standard addition we use so u plus v is equal to 1 1 clearly right u plus v is equal to 1 1 now the norm u plus v that is equal to under root 1 square plus 1 square that is equal to under root 2 so if we take u is equal to 1 0 and v is equal to 0 1 this left hand side part we get root 2 correct this left hand side part we get root 2 and now what is our u u is 1 0 so norm u norm u is equal to under root 1 square plus 0 square that is 1 and norm v that is also 1 because v is equal to 0 1 so norm v is equal to under root 0 square plus 1 square that is also 1 so what is our right hand side part 1 plus 1 2 so this part become 2 and this part become root 2 when we take u is equal to 1 0 and v is equal to 0 1 and using euclidean inner product and standard addition and multiplication okay uh, we here we don't need to use multiplication scalar multiplication but use standard addition so in that case these two are not equal so that's why this is not a linear transformation so the transformation is not linear this question was asked in two marks so you can also uh, take a counter example which i explain here that take u is equal to 1 0 and uh, v is equal to 0 1 you can take any other example uh, in which uh, in which in in that example definitely these two are not must be equal okay so that you have to mention uh, so this question was complete now and the next question question 7 b Question 7b The T from R2 to R2 with a linear transformation defined by T of x1, x2 that is equal to minus x2 minus 5x1 plus 13x2 minus 7x1 plus 16x2. Find the matrix for the transformation T with respect to the basis B that is equal to u1 u2 for r2 
and b dash is equal to v1 v2 v3 for r3 where u1 u2 v1 v2 v3 all are defined u1 is equal to 3 1 u2 is equal to 5 2 v1 is equal to 1 0 minus 1 v2 is equal to minus 1 2 2 and v3 is equal to 0 1 2 and this question was asked in 4 marks uh, next uh, so how to solve this question first of all try to understand that one <coughs> what we have to find here find the matrix for the transformation t with respect to the basis b and b dash right so first of all we have to find t of u1 and t of u2 correct uh, using this definition we find t of u1 uh, instead of x1 and x2 just we have to put value of 3 1 and then 5 2 so definitely easily we get t of u1 and t of u2 then whatever the our answer uh, that is a vector of r3 right and we have already a basis vector for r3 that is v1 v2 v3 okay so that vector that both of the vector can be expressed as linear combination of uh, v1 v2 and v3 and using that linear combination definitely we can find the scalar c1 c2 c3 right okay so this is our process so first of all we find t of u1 so this is t of u1 using the given transformation t we obtain t of u1 put the value of uh, x instead of x1 and x2 we have to put 3 and 1 so we get minus 3 sorry minus 1 uh, this is minus 5 into 3 so that is minus 15 plus 13 into 1 so plus 13 so minus 15 plus 13 so minus 2 right uh, first one is minus 1 minus 2 then minus 7 into 3 minus 21 plus 16 into 1 so minus 21 plus 1 so that minus 7 into x1 so minus 7 into 1 sorry minus 7 into 3 minus 21 plus 16 into 1 right so plus 16 so minus 21 plus 16 that is minus 5 okay then we find t of u2 that is put the value of 5 and 2 instead of x1 and x2 so first of all uh, first one is minus 2 then minus 5 into 5 minus 25 plus 13 into 2 plus 26 so minus 25 plus 26 is 1 so here 1 you can see here 1 and then minus 7 into 5 plus 16 into 2 so that is minus 35 plus 32 okay so that is minus 3 now <coughs> this both of the vector can be expressed as linear combination of v1 v2 and v3 so that's here i written minus 1 2 minus 5 that is equal to a v1 plus b v2 plus c v3 that is equal to a into 1 0 1 so what is our v1 see this is v1 v2 v3 so a into 1 0 minus 1 plus b into minus 1 2 2 plus c into 0 1 2 okay and uh, simplify this two uh, this three terms we get finally a minus b the first coordinate is a minus b the second coordinate is 2b plus c and the third coordinate is minus a plus 2b plus 2c now uh, we get a minus b is equal to minus 1 2b plus c is equal to minus 2 and uh, minus a plus 2b plus 2c is equal to minus 5 okay from this equations we get another three equations and using that three equations uh, we can find a b and c right so this is our three equations that is a minus b is equal to minus 1 2b plus c is equal to minus 2 and uh, a minus a plus 2b plus 2c is equal to minus 5 okay now <coughs> to solve these three equations you have to use matrix uh, use matrix augmented matrix uh, from this two matrices from this three equations uh, you can write the augmented matrix and convert that augmented matrix into a row column form right 
what is the meaning of row equal and form i already explained uh, many times and uh, using that row equal and form matrix you can find the value of a b and c okay so solving these equations uh, we get a is equal to minus 1 by 3 b is equal to 2 by 3 and c is equal to minus 10 by 3 okay so coordinate vector of t of u1 that is equal to minus 1 by 3 then 2 by 3 then minus 10 by 3 finally okay so again i explain you that uh, this three equations to solve this three equations definitely you have to use matrix augmented matrix okay that augmented matrix convert into a row equal and form matrix and using that row equal and form you can find a b c uh, we solve this type of example many times and i already explained many times that what is the meaning of row equal and form i again repeat here that whatever our augmented matrix we have to convert row equal and form uh, how many process you have to do so first of all uh, just try to understand the conditions to be uh, for the row equal and form matrix uh, the conditions are the first condition is if there is any zero row it should be the bottom of the matrix right uh, the leading entry or sometimes we call pivot the pivot uh, below that in any row if there is any pivot right in any row if there is any pivot below that leading entry or below that pivot in that column in that particular column all the elements should be zero right and that is the second condition and the third condition is uh, our leading entry is going from left to right whenever we are going from above to below right so in that matrix so if these three conditions are satisfied then we can say that uh, our matrix in, is into a row colon form matrix and using that row colon form matrix you can easily find out the value of abc okay so solving these equations we get a is equal to minus 1 by 3 b is equal to 2 by 3 and c is equal to minus 10 by 3 so this is our coordinate vector t of u u1 is minus 1 by 3 2 by 3 and minus 10 by 3 now this is just a coordinate vector corresponding to t of, uh, t of u1 okay also we have t of u2 so again t of u2 is equal to minus 2 1 minus 3 that can be also expressed as linear combination of v1 v2 and v3 so this is minus 2 1 minus 3 that is equal to a v1 plus b v2 plus c v3 that is equal to again a minus b 2 b plus c minus a plus 2 b plus 2 c so a minus b is equal to minus 2 2 b plus c is equal to 1 and minus a plus 2 b plus 2 c is equal to minus 3 so solving these equations we get a is equal to minus 5 by 3 b is equal to 1 by 3 and c is equal to 1 by 3 again uh, we, you have to use uh, matri augmented matrix right so the coordinate vector t of u2 is equal to minus 5 by 3 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 so the matrix of the transformation t with respect to the basis b and b dash is given by a t b b dash that is the first column is a matrix first column for our answer in our matrix first column is this t of u1 the matrix t of u1 and the second column is matrix the t of u2 column vector t of u2 okay so this is the answer of this question uh, and this question was asked in four marks in this question paper the next question the last question of this question paper question 7 c show that the inner linear operator t from r2 to r2 defined by the equations w1 is equal to x1 plus 2x2 w2 is equal to minus x1 plus x2 is 1 1 and find t inverse w1 w2 okay so <coughs> first of all we have to find the, this linear operator is 1 1 and for that uh, what we have to prove t of x is equal to t of y right and prove that x is equal to y t of x is equal to t of y and prove that x is equal to y so here already defined that t of uh, this is w1 and w2 that means t of x y is equal to x1 plus 2 x2 and the second coordinate is minus x1 plus x2 right 
so that we have to use uh, t of x is equal to t of y take x is equal to x1 x2 and y is equal to y1 y2 uh, both are uh, vectors of r2 so t of x is equal to x1 plus 2 x2 minus x1 plus x2 uh, using this definition that is equal to y1 plus 2 y2 minus y1 plus y2 so when we uh, this two are equal that means what we can uh, we can compare the coordinates that means what x1 plus 2 x2 that is equal to y1 plus 2 y2 and minus x1 plus x2 that is equal to minus y1 plus y2 so from this two equations definitely we get x1 is equal to y1 and x2 is equal to y2 so that means what x is equal to y so what we have to prove we are starting with t of x is equal to t of y and we prove that x is equal to y that means what t is 1 1 right now also the another question is we have to find t inverse uh, w1 w2 right so we have to uh, find out the inverse of this transformation w1 w2 one uh, so let z is equal to z1 z2 belongs to r2 okay now this is a linear transformation and for that linear transformation definitely uh, here one another method uh, which i explain here but uh, you can also one simple method that we have to use here uh, see this is a linear transformation right for that linear transformation definitely uh, we can find out the standard matrix and <coughs> the inverse of the standard matrix right that is exactly the standard matrix for t inverse so what is the standard what is the matrix here standard matrix you can see w1 is equal to x1 plus 2 x2 and w2 is equal to minus x1 plus x2 so what is the standard matrix 1 2 first row is 1 2 and the second row is minus 1 1 correct minus 1 1 okay so this is our standard matrix for t now one important theorem says that this you have to remember that the inverse of the standard matrix for the uh, linear transformation t that is exactly the standard matrix for the t inverse so 